to uh, get going here a couple yeah. days away? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a fun season. It's going to be uh, interesting seeing how our offense does and how the new defense is. So I'm excited. Have you kind of visualized what do you think you guys are going to look like on offense? Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of have an idea. It's going to be, like you see, fast, uh, high pace, up tempo, but you won't really know until the first game comes to see how we do. What about uh, quarterback? Are you as eager as everybody, as all of us, to f find out who it's going to be? Definitely. I mean, it's been a long process from January to now. Everybody's looked good. Uh, I like everything I see from Wilton, uh, Devon, Dorian, Matt, all those guys. So uh, I'm just waiting for them to make the decision. I'll be happy with whoever they choose. Has it made it difficult going through the process with five different guys all the time? No, I wouldn't say that. They all make it easy. I mean, they all have desirable traits and they all uh, do a lot of things well. So uh, I'm just happy with all those guys. For you, I mean, what is the most desirable trait to have in a starting quarterback? Uh, somebody who's assertive, uh, somebody who's a leader and really takes charge, and somebody who the team uh, is confident in every time we step out on the field. Who have you seen that? What have you seen from the quarterbacks? Have you seen that? Someone who's stepped up and taken control? Yeah, I think all those guys do that. Uh, Devon, I've been uh, probably been with, with him the longest, but uh, Wilton's come in and done a good job of that. And also Doran, for a young guy, he's showed a lot of uh, leadership and with the offense. And yeah, is there a difference with Wilton just with that much experience under his belt? Do you, do you see that from him? Does he carry it that way and his knowledge and experience? Yeah, I think you could say that. I mean, obviously he's had so much experience uh, playing in uh, the division he was in with Michigan and uh, playing teams like Ohio State and sort of uh, those teams like that. So I would definitely say that. The vibe on this team, this is your this is your third year. How is it different now as opposed to years past? Um, I, th I would say we probably just are tuned in a little bit more. Uh, we're just locked in and focused on the goal and uh, details and small stuff that Coach Kelly preaches to us, and everybody's just about their business. How do you feel about yourself? How, how have you come? But not just <laughs> mm -hmm. from last year, but from spring to now. I think I've come a long way. Uh, obviously, we've had departures from the receiver group and on offense, so I've had to take on, take on more of a, a leadership role. I've had to come out of my shell and be more vocal. And uh, with, within me, like I've just had to work on certain different things in my game to help the offense go and help to make team make the team better. What have you been working on throughout the off season? Everything. I mean, I don't have anything that I'm too good at, so I've been working on everything: my speed, with strength and conditioning staff, uh, my hands, my route running, blocking, everything. How about the freshman wide receivers that look like they're going to get a lot of time? What have you seen from them in fall camp so far? I mean, they're doing good. Uh, Kyle and Chase uh, have been here the longest, and they were able to get some uh, a lot of reps in in spring ball, and they showed a lot. Uh, both of those guys will, I think, definitely be out on the field uh, come uh, Cincinnati. And then DeLon and Michael, the guys who came later, uh, they've showed some good stuff. They're getting dialed into the plays, and I can't wait to see what their future holds. Skill set-wise, what does Kyle bring and what does Chase bring that make them kind of stand out to you? Kyle's more of a, I think I would say, jittery, speedy kind of guy. He's a short receiver. Uh, uh, he's quick. Uh, and then Chase is a bigger, longer, taller receiver. He's, I would say, he has strong hands and uh, he uses his body well. His body well. Four days away now. Are you? Is it, your excitement level go up or does it stay the same? Uh, right now, I'm just still focused on getting better every day at practice. So I'm pretty much calm right now, just trying to continue to grow and learn and. So by, by Saturday, we'll be ready. So I'm just taking it one day at a time. Have you been visualizing like what it's going to be like to be out there, not only your return, but Chip Kelly's first game, a new team, new season? A little bit. I mean, you always get, get excited. But right now, I'm really just trying, like every single day, I'm just really out here just trying to just perfect my craft and perfect the, the, sch the schematic things and, and our chemistry every day. So on Saturday, we'll be as efficient and as, as, as successful as we can. How do you like the way the tight end is being used in this new offense? I enjoy it. We get to do a lot of different things. We get to make, we have a lot of opportunities to make plays, a lot of opportunities to help make plays for other people in the blocking scheme. So I'm actually really excited about it and how we're using multiple guys. So I'm definitely excited. You've been away from the field for quite a while. Aren't you getting a little bit, uh, you know, I am. I'm definitely, I'm definitely just my family is like, hey, I'm coming to the game. And people are texting me just saying excited to see me back. And, excited to come to the game and watch. So, I mean, I'm definitely excited just to be out there on the Rose Bowl again and playing with my team. Are you also going to find out who you're going to be throwing you the ball out there? <laughs> we're still, we're still, <laughs> we're in the same boat as you guys. So, yeah. we're just, I'm just whoever's out there will be ready to work with and 
I know whoever Coach Kelly decides, he'll do a great job for us, and so I'm excited to find out as well. What would you say is the most impactful change that Coach Kelly's made since he's gotten here? Um, I think he's just trying to bring a winning culture just to the team, just just uh, making sure every single day we compete and uh, the habits we the habits we create on and off the field affect our uh, our mission and what we want to do as a team. So just everyday habits as far as rest, as far as diet, as far as how you prepare, how you how much film you watch, how you treat each other. I feel like we just he's just trying to get bring an overall culture that he believes in and bring it to us. How is this for you? How much sweeter? How much more is? How much more do you value it after that injury, and you have to work? Oh, that? much more. I mean, I, mean, I always love the game, but just sitting on the sidelines at the Rose Bowl and watching it from TV during away games is definitely frustrating. Not being able to be out there for your team, and when you know there's things you could do to help and you can't. So, I mean, I, I appreciate every single day that I'm out there being able to compete, being able to be healthy. So, I mean, Saturday would definitely be a, a special feeling for me. How does Devin Asiasi's suspension just affect the team, affect the tight end group? I mean, he's very, very skilled. He's very, he's a really, really talented player. So, I mean, it will hurt us, but like Coach Kelly's always says, the next man up, and we'll be excited when Devin gets back. But until then, we're just going to have to work with the guys we have and do what we can. How's Jordan been doing? He's doing awesome. Jordan Wilson's been getting better every single day. I mean, it's just crazy to see the growth he's had since the day he's got to UCLA and how much he's improved. He's He's really good in the pass game and the run game. He's getting a lot stronger, so I'm definitely excited to see Jordan do great things this year. It's How about the two, the two freshmen, tight ends? Mm -hmm. are they, how are they doing? Matt, uh, Matt and David, they're both doing pretty good. They're both uh, just adjusting to the, to the speed and to the, to the level of play in college, but they're doing well. They're, they're continuing to grow every day, just, just as Jordan is, so I'm excited to see their future here at UCLA as well. I think it's a small thing, but it seems like you guys have been playing more music during practice in the past, past couple of weeks. Is that like a conscious decision? Do you know if it's a conscious decision? Man, we just kind of do it during warm-ups, but really, you're, you're working so hard and going so fast, you really don't even pay attention to the music. It's kind of just, you just kind of focus on doing your job and hopefully doing it right, so. Given all that off-season training and how fast, how the pace of the practice, would you say you're, you're conditioning, where are you? I, I, I definitely feel in shape, and I feel like our practices, how fast we go will help us in the game because it's automatically going to be slowed down in the games a little bit because referees got to set the ball, you got to wait for substitutions and stuff. So I feel like in the game it'll be pretty, we'll be pretty in shape. So I'm pretty excited to see how it actually feels in the game.